Well, it's probably about 12 hours. You've had some sleep now after the draft. Has it sunk in yet that you are officially AFL players? Oh, not really. It's all still sort of sitting there and it's a couple of players and stuff are getting around you and it's still a bit surreal. Yeah, I think I'm a bit the same. I kind of woke up this morning, um, took a few more messages and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think it's probably starting, but not quite yet. What were the messages like? How many did you have? And was there any highlights in there? Yeah, there were some really good ones from the boys. Like, I got a few calls and stuff from some of the Adelaide boys and um, a few texts as well. So they were the main ones I was pretty excited about. But some friends and family got around me as well, so that was good. What was the reaction from uh, your friends and family, Chase? Oh, just <laughs> stoked, really. Like, teachers and stuff sending messages and like, coaches and stuff. It's been unreal, just... All the people that still follow you, just after you've had that experience with them, is amazing as well. And what's the biggest takeout from draft night? Is there anything that sort of really stood out to you, or any sort of uh, lasting memories? Um, how quickly the club gets around you, and how well, how welcoming they actually are. Like, it's sort of daunting to start off with. You don't know really what to expect, but they've been amazing. Ned, talk us through some of the stuff the club's actually done and uh, helped you make you feel welcome. Yeah, the club's been been amazing. We were just saying before how quickly it's felt like we're already kind of a part of it. And um, as we spoke about just before, the players have got around us so much so quickly and um, all the coaching staff and the recruiting team and stuff like that. We went out for a bite to eat last night and it just felt it just felt so good already. So, yeah, really exciting. Chase, you said you got a phone call from Tom Lynch this morning and it was a little bit sort of starstruck. Talk us through that. Uh, he just called me and I didn't have his number in my phone, so I sort of answered not knowing who it was and he said oh okay it's Tom Lynch welcome to the club I was like oh Jesus like AFL player like he's calling you he's, we're making you feel welcome it's just amazing to get the support. Ned we uh, met Don Pike last night what message did he have to you? Yeah Pike was really good he was pretty casual and stuff um, yeah obviously just getting to know me and I'm getting to know him as well so yeah he was really good and we kind of spoke about a few players and stuff that would be good to, to really look look at through the pre-season and everything and kind of model a few things on so that's really exciting but um, yeah he was really casual and just getting to know him he seems awesome. And Chase, where to from here? Oh, just getting stuck into training, starting to work, work hard, get around the boys, earn the respect of everyone, and hopefully make it a big 2019. And Ned, do you, have you sort of uh, played against Chase or played with Chase in the uh, past? Yeah, I've played with him, um, which I enjoy more than playing against him. So we played um, with each other in the academy game against North Melbourne, and Chase was brilliant that day. And then against each other, obviously, um, through the um, through the champs and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, it's exciting to play with him now. And tell us uh, what Chase's strongest attributes are, in your view. Yeah, well, Ch um, Chase, like athletically, obviously has a really good base. So um, he's quite quick, and he's also got really good endurance. So he's got that balance um, athletically, and he's also really good, like with his spring. Um, he's very skillful too. And um, he's quite tough and pretty strong overhead for a small guy as well. So, yeah. Same question to you, Chase. What did Ned bring to the uh, academy game against North Melbourne? Oh, just that little half forward, just in and around the um, key defenders and stuff like that. Tackle pressure, voice, just brings the group up, enthusiastic, and he just loves being out there. And uh, Ned's character's been talked about, and he's a funny guy. Have you got any stories from that sort of uh, trip that you can sort of recite? Oh. I don't know. He's just little comments every now and then. He comes out with some beauties. I can't really think of any off the top of my head, but I'm sure the Crows fans will love the comments he brings. Oh, thanks, guys. Welcome to the club. Thank thanks you. Thanks so much. Excited.